Hello, it's Jim from JudsonHacks.com. On today's show, we are going over the Scance Sweep LiDAR. Let's go. So we have here the new Sweep LiDAR sensor, highly anticipated. We have some scanner specs. Range, 40 meters. Sample rate, 500 samples per second. Field of view, 360 degrees. Rotation frequency, 2 to 10 hertz. UART, USB, 5-fold DC connection source. Consumption up to 300 milliamps. It's 65 millimeters by 50.9 millimeters and weighs 120 grams. It's ideal for robot navigation. That's us. Digital surveying. Okay. Education. Okay. And smart security. Let's open it up. Has a little gift box here. Designed in California, assembled in the US of A. I know where that is. Scans Sweep version 1.0, scanning LiDAR for everyone. I have some little instructions that will be useful. And here's the unit itself. So in the box here, we have several different connectors, some screws for mounting, I assume, some more wires. Looks like you can wire it up several different ways. Here's a USB cable. It looks like it's 2.0 micro B to type A connectors. And this looks like another type of connector, some type of chip here, micro USB on one side. Must be a UART connection of some sort. Be my guess. Let's remove the base here. And here it is. There's the mounting points. Here's all the connectors. If you remember from a previous episode, we took a look at the Pulsed Light LiDAR light sensor. This is an earlier version of the sensor that is used inside of the sweep. Basically, the sweep mounts this inside this housing, and there's a motor here which turns it around. Let's go plug it in. As you can see, the scans has been installed on a robot. Let's install the software on the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub. There's a repository named install sweep. Let's clone that. We'll grab the address. Git clone. Paste that in. Let's switch over to the repositories directory. The first thing that we want to do is install the sweep SDK. Let's run that script. The script installed the SDK, installed it as a library, and also built three examples. We will switch over to the sweep SDK directory. If we look in the build directory, we can see that there is a program called sweep-ctl. Let's run that. Sweep dash CTL dev get, then we can check the motor speed or the sample rates. Let's take a look at our 
USBs, LSUSB. So I happen to know that the sweep uses an FTDI chip, so it's either this one or this one. So since there are two FTDI chips on this particular robot, let's figure out which one is the sweep. We'll turn on D message minus minus follow. Let's unplug the sweep. There's a USB hub underneath here. And we can see that it's attached to TTY USB zero. One thing that we might want to do is bind the USB device under a static name. So we can do that using a UDEV rule. So let's open up a file browser. We'll switch over to the install sweep. 99 USB serial rules. Let's open this up with gedit. So if we take this rule and let's add the serial number of the sweep FTDI chip. So we'll go back here. We can see that the ID of the vendor is 0403 and the ID of the product is 6015. These may change in subsequent products that you get. And we see the serial number here. So let's grab the serial number, copy that. We'll place it here. And we will save that. Close this up. Let's open up a new terminal. So let's sudo copy 99-USB serial rules over to slash etc slash udev slash rules. D. Let's replug the sweep here. Device disconnected. FTDI USB serial device converter now attached to TTY USB zero. But we've added an alias, so now we can call it slash dev slash sweep. And it will map this for us. So we can call it TTY USB zero, or we can call it slash dev slash sweep. So let's clear this off again. So let's run sweep CTL, which allows us to get the motor speed or the sample rate. So there's the usage. So let's Sweep control, the device was slash dev slash sweep. Let's get the motor speed. It is five Hertz. Let's get the sample rate. It is 500. 500 samples per second. So the motor speed can be between one and 10, and the sample rate can be between 500 and 1000. So let's change the motor speed, and you can actually see that happen. Set motor speed and we'll set it to eight. So you can see that it's speeding up the little blue lights flashing and when it's ready, it becomes solid. We can also change the sample rate. Let's increase it to 1000.
it's much less dramatic. So let's go over and take a look at some of our examples. Switch over to the examples directory. Switch over to the build directory there. If we run example C, Oh, we have to tell it what device. So you can see it just reads all the angles as it comes out. It tells us how far each angle is. There's also a viewer. So that gives you kind of a feel. You can see the corner of the room over here. This is me. So if I move around, I'll move over. This is the other corner of the room. You can tell from the setup of the robot that you cannot see behind the actual sensor. That's where the Jetson sits in here. This wall here is about four feet away, and this is about nine feet or so, three meters from the sensor to the corner of the room. This leads off to another room. It can't read that very well for some reason. So let's install a ROS package that we can use with the sweep. Switch back over to the install sweep directory. And let's install this for ROS. And we give it the name of the Catkin workspace where we want it installed. In this case, it's called racecar-ws. Okay, so that's installed. Basically, it went out and got to the ROS package for the sweep and then used ROSDEP to install the dependencies. Let's switch over to the race car workspace. Source the devil. Let's go look at the launch file source slash sweep. We'll take a look at sweep to scan. So in this case, sweep is on TTY USB zero, but we might want to just call this sweep with our alias. Let's try that. So let's launch our little example here. This uses RViz. So we say Ross launch. Sweep underscore ROS, which is the package name, then the name of the launch file. So you can see that it slowed it down to five hertz. And here's the view. Let's make our little squares a little bit larger so you can see what's going on. Five. Okay, so the sweep is sitting right here. This is the Jetson back behind it. This is the corner of the room. This is me, this little area here. You see me move. You see when I get out of the way, you can actually see the corner. 
more of the wall and more of the room. And this is down into another room over here. So you can see that the quality of the actual map is not great. It's a little bit slow. I'm not quite sure how good the resolution is or how far it can actually read. We'll have to run some tests and take it outside and get a better feel. But that's a start. Thanks for watching.